Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Joseph Sakwa, coming to live on the scripture prescription, this amazing and wonderful morning. I want us to pray and then we'll listen to the voice of God. Father, we thank you and we bless you this morning. We lift you and we glorify you. Your name, thank you for this privilege and opportunity to be called your children as we share your word, Father, minister to us and glorify yourself in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you and we honor you, we love you, and we lift you in Jesus' name. Amen. What a privilege, what an opportunity. I want to speak about a message this morning. The Lord, my fortress. The Lord, my fortress. I read the Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter number 18 and verse number 2. The Bible says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. There is nothing associated with significance of the fact that the Lord is the one that holds everything together in my life. He's not protection. He is my deliverer. In other words, when things come against me, he will lift me out of the situation. Picture a situation where there is a problem and then you will lift it out from the situation. This is the Lord, my deliverer. My God, my strength. It means when I am weak, then the Lord will make me strong. In whom I trust my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. This is who the Lord is to our lives. This is who the Lord is in my life. I want to speak about three things about the rock. My fortress. Number one, we must always aspire, understand, and believe in the blessings of the rock. Praise the name of the Lord. First Samuel chapter number two and verse number two. Sovereign, we believe in the blessing of the rock, and there is no other God like our rock, the God who we believe in. Number two, we must believe in the blessing or believing in the rock. Psalm 62 and verse number six says, He only is my rock and my salvation, He is my. Friends, I shall not be moved. We will con name of the Lord. Number three, we must build on the rock. Second Timothy number three and verse number fifteen. And from the childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith. which is in Christ Jesus. We must build on the rock. We must grow our faith. We must grow our belief in the rock, our fortress, the Lord God. So 
this morning as I speak to you, child of God, I want you to understand it is the power behind our success. It is the power behind our victory. It is the power that affords us opportunity and protection. It is the voice that speaks through us to make sure we become that which God has wanted us to be for the glory and honor of his name. Shalom. The good Lord be with you. Just understand the capacity of the Lord, our rock in the name of Jesus Christ. May the good Lord bless you. The good Lord be with the Lord. The good Lord keep you in the presence of the Lord. Can we glorify your name? We honor you for who you are. Have you way in our lives? Continue to establish your grace and your power. You are the Lord, our fortress. Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. Bless you. This has been your host and your servant. Pastor Johnson Sakwa coming to you live on the scripture prescription. Your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. I look forward to you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. Amen and amen.